there has been a strong bond between horses and humans for thousands of years. We have so much to learn from these loyal and freedom-loving animals. Horses demonstrate the perfect balance of duty and independence and show us how we can enjoy life with a mixture of work and play. They're super sensitive to energy and vibrations and yet they teach us to be steady and focused, encouraging us to tackle our hurdles and jump them with ease. Horses are free spirits and love running free. We should take our lead from them. Throughout history, horses have been one of our greatest friends and companions. Much artwork can be found around the world from early cave dwellers to modern day artists, with 18th century painter George Stubbs being the most prolific horse artist, if not the most renowned. In Native American cultures, horses are highly important and are given the utmost respect, both physically and spiritually, and quite rightly so. Horses were the first mode of transport for humans, allowing us to have free movement and travel and facilitate trade at the same time. Ceremonial dances are dedicated to horses as they are seen to symbolize nobility, victory, success and wealth. This is especially so in Far Eastern cultures, since the horse is a symbol of devotion in Buddhism and Hinduism. In the Chinese zodiac, the year of the horse is every 12 years and there are five horses being gold, water, wood, fire and earth. The next horse year is 2026 and will be the return of the fire horse. Horses are strong spirit animals and remind us to stay in control and not get distracted by thoughts that can make us stray from our path. In Greek mythology, a centaur is a being that's part human and part horse and in folklore and ancient traditions, horses can become unicorns and some have wings to fly, such as Pegasus. Horses have given rise to many sayings through superstition and beliefs, such as Trojan horse and never allowing a horseshoe to be upside down in order to stop the good luck running out. Horses also tell us not to get on our high horse since nobody is less than we are and nobody is better than we are. In Celtic lore, Epona is the goddess of fertility who can shapeshift into a horse to protect the earth. Her name translates as Great Mare, and perhaps this gave rise to the white horses that can be seen across some southwestern parts of England. They stand out protecting the countryside, but sadly some have vanished in recent years, so they will just remain a distant memory for some of us, and a mystery for others. In the book of Revelation in the Bible, there are the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which signify the return of Christ. The horses are white, red, black and pale in colour. The white horse means conquest or victory. The red horse or chestnut means spiritual warfare. The black horse represents famine and hardship and the pale horse, perhaps Palomino colour, is ridden by death. It's interesting to note that in Tarot, the death card represents an ending and a rebirth. We should view the pale horse as less of the end of the world and more of the start of a great awakening where love and peace are the rulers. Here in the UK, summer has nearly gone and it's autumn again, which means horse chestnut time and bruised knuckles from playing conkers. Please be mindful that horse chestnuts are not sweet chestnuts and are not suitable for human or animal consumption. However, conkers do have a very good use. They keep the spiders away, so they can't be horsing around with us anymore.